In this video, I will walk you through an overview about squeeze pages. Now you might have heard about squeeze page, the term squeeze page being used all over the internet especially if you are in the marketing niche. Now on this page you can see here, this is a product called Powerlink Generator from Mike feels same, a very popular internet marketer right now. And you can see on this page here, or on this uh, domain name here, this link to be exact, there's a forward slash index one or htm. This is actually not the main index page, but this is a normal direct response one web page or one site uh, sales page where it consists of a headline, the sales copy itself and the order link. That means eventually it will just aim on getting the order. But a, a squeeze page is something like this. So I go on this tab, you can see this is the main URL. So if someone types in this URL or even if an affiliate promotes this product using the normal affili affiliate URL, they will be di redirected to this page. So this page you can see, there's very few sales copy in it. And there's a form for you to fill in, for your visitor f to fill in. And basically, it gives the visitor an incentive or an offer, a free offer, like this one. Instant access to a killer video course value at 1A7 on this uh, title here. So the prospect will get this for free. This is an incentive or an offer. If they find out, or if they fill in their information or their contact information over here, and this is a more advanced uh, method whereby it even uh, uh, forces the visitor to type in three email address of their friends to um, to recommend this uh, product. So once they have done all this, they will just click on Get Me Started. So now you might be wondering why. Why is it necessary to create a squeeze page and why is it so popular? Basically, there's one reason. It's a very simple reason. And that is, it has been proven to increase sales conversion. And this is why. Because marketing tests, this is a fact which you cannot uh, deny. Marketing tests have shown that a visitor or a prospect who lands on your website will not make the first purchase, will not make the purchase on their first visit. That means if someone just browse through the internet, most likely 70% of the time, the visitor will not make a purchase on your product. So for example, if this if this is the page which they first land on, okay, so 70, more than 70% will not just, will not buy this uh, product. They will just leave the site and that's it. But by having a squeeze page, somehow it forces the visitor to put in their contact information, name and email so that the marketer can follow up on them. So this will build a relationship with the uh, prospect which eventually will and uh, it may become a customer, a future customer of this uh, marketer. So this is the reason why. Because once they fill in the information, the name and the email address, the the information or the contact will be in, will be stored in an autoresponder system. So that autoresponder uh, system will uh, send a series of follow-up messages in a pre periodic time. Sometimes, uh, like in a space of two days or one day, you know, every one or every two days, an email will be sent to this prospect who fills who fills in the name and the email address. So it will follow up on on this product especially so that in the future the cast or the prospect will purchase or will make the purchase on this product so once they have clicked on this button here they will be redirected to the sales page over here okay so even though if they don't make the first purchase remember that they have already fill in the name and the email address so the marketer can contact the prospect again to follow up and build relationships and eventually that will be a long term strategy, uh, strategy to get more profits and customers.
So basically, that's what squeeze page is all about. In fact, actually, it's just a term being used, and it is actually a normal lead capture page whereby you just type in a few or you just uh, write a few portion of the sales copy okay and it is designed to force the uh, visitor or the prospect to fill in their contact information to give the marketer their contact information so, so that they can follow up so on this page it's normally very minimal I mean it doesn't write or it doesn't uh, write down the full features or benefits of the product but instead it will ask us to ask the visitor to type in their email address their contact information so that they will get more information about the product later on so this is just a way to follow up uh, on uh, the prospect